this is Janet from Impact Tech. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we will be installing our Impact Tech Easy Pull Clutch Lever on this beautiful 2023 Yamaha R7. I decided to get a Tiffany blue lever so it can match my Impact Tech Tiffany blue crash cage. Let's invite Juan over so he can explain to you what the benefits are for this lever. So why do you need an Impact Tech Easy Pull Clutch Lever? Essentially your stock lever has a really long OEM lever and when you go ahead and try to pull it with one finger, eventually the lever is going to start hitting your knuckles and the actual pull, the engagement is really stiff. So after a while, you start getting this arm pump on your arm if you are learning to practice wheelies or if you're just commuting in general. So our Impact Tech Easy Pull Clutch Lever is composed of three individual pieces. You have your lever, you have your perch, and you have your clamp along with the CNC adjusters. Essentially, you're just gonna go ahead and remove your lever, install our new lever, and we have two different size options. You have the two finger, which is the five inch, and then you can also use the one finger, which is a four inch, which is a little bit shorter than this. And basically, this allows you to pull in the clutch with little to no resistance, so it's buttery smooth and allows you to maintain your entire hand on the bar. So when you are learning clutch ups, you don't fall or your hand doesn't slip off this bar. So Jenny here is gonna learn how to do wheelies on this R7. So we wanna make sure that her arm doesn't get a pump while trying to pull in the stock lever. So if you wanna go ahead and just pull the lever in Janet, as you guys can see, her first reaction was, can you do that again with all four fingers? Her first reaction is pulling in the lever with her entire hand. Now, the moment she tries to pop her first wheelie, if she has all the fingers on, on the lever, she only has one thumb holding onto the bar. So by the time she comes up and she's in wheelie position, she's gonna have one hand on the throttle and only one thumb on the other bar. And the possibilities of her losing balance or falling off the bike are really, really high. So we don't want that. Now, Janet, try pulling it in with one finger. Right, you really can't pull it in. It's really, really stiff, right? Now imagine trying to do that for 15, 20 times at a lot or you know, at a close course road where you're trying to learn how to wheelie, you're gonna start hurting your arm, right? I mean, I'm sure it's already hurting now. So even trying doing it with two fingers, it's still really stiff. And again, it's gonna start hitting her knuckles right here. So the last thing she wants is for the lever to come in, hit her knuckles. And on these R7s, the engagement point, you have to pull in your clutch lever all the way down. So if you're pulling it in like this, you run the possibility of burning out your clutch. You can damage your clutch cable. This is gonna be a no-go. You always wanna go ahead and improve yourself with an Impact Tech Easy Pull Clutch Lever. We have them available in all different colors and two different sizes on our website. So enough of me talking. We're gonna let Janet install it. First thing you have to do is remove the bar end. You'll use a five millimeter Allen. Next thing you wanna do is remove the bar grip. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll it out. If this is a little too difficult, you can use some compressed air. Here goes nothing. Now we're gonna wanna remove the in ignition control. It's very easy. There's two Phillip screws. So you're gonna wanna get your Phillip screwdriver and remove those. Now we're gonna grab a 10 millimeter socket to remove the bolt from under the perch. Remove the clutch cable from the OEM lever. You wanna remove this clutch safety clip from underneath the perch. Then you wanna move over onto this side to remove this bolt. You'll use an eight millimeter socket. And then you'll go ahead and slide it right off. You're gonna to wanna to grab your lever and reinstall the OEM clutch cable. Now install the lever onto your bar. Grab the clamp, reinsert the provided hardware. Tighten the bolts, but we wanna go ahead and leave a little bit of wiggle room. And we'll tighten the rest at the end when we finish the install. So now we're gonna reinstall everything that we took off so that we can adjust the clutch lever. Now we'll grab the bar end and reinstall that as well. Now find your desired clutch lever height. Once you have found it, you're gonna go ahead and tighten it. Again, thank you, Janet, so much for helping us out. Thank you. Make sure that if you do have a Yamaha R7, to please visit our website at impacttech.com, get yourself a crash cage, get yourself an adjustable sub cage, an easy pull clutch lever, a clip on. And if you guys need any sort of installation videos, we'll have every single installation video for this bike up on our YouTube channel so you can follow step-by-step -step directions and yeah, Thank you guys so much and remember, protect your investment.